My name is Ombui Davis. I'm a consultant physician and diabetologist. I'm also a research fellow at the Center for Research and Therapeutics at Strathmore University. So today we are going to talk about diabetes generally. So watch out for the upcoming topics. The warning signs depend uh, because if we say warning signs, there are warning signs for diabetes itself. There are warning signs for the complications that are related to it. So the warning signs depend on the complications that you are looking at. Generally, we divide the complications into two. We have the microvascular complications and the macrovascular complications. So the microvascular complications, the most common uh, warning signs, I'll start with the nephropathy, which is just injury to the kidney. So foamy urine. Uh, your legs swelling, feeling tired. They are really not specific, but they can tell you something is happening. Um, for ne neuropathy, um, this is just generally complications related to the nerves as a result of glucose toxicity. The positive symptoms mostly on the leg, tingling, burning sensations, negative symptoms, oh sorry, negative symptoms are under the, ban the numbing sensations, deadness of the limbs. Uh, for men, uh, loss of erectile uh, function. Uh, when we come to retinopathy, we are looking at blurring of vision, which is usually most of the common ones. If we are going to look at the macrovascular complications, uh, really not easy to define because most of the time they already they actually happen in real time, so things like strokes and all. Heart attacks, so generally chest pains on the left side that are radiating to the left arm which is not really classical in patients with diabetes. So that is something that we have to screen uh, actively for us to detect. Um, for a patient who's not diabetic, I think it's important to raise the issues of uh, the symptoms that you need to just be aware of. Well, one is peeing a lot uh, as a symptom, taking lots of water more than usual, and feeling hungry more than usual, losing weight, uh, for women having recurrent urinary tract infections. The most common complications of diabetes, the number one uh, cause of death and morbidity is actually what we call atherosclerotic uh, conditions. So things like stroke and heart attack, uh, those are the most common complications and they're the, the, the deadliest. So generally those are what we termed as macrovascular issues. Uh, for microvascular complications, uh, the complications is renal failure. So your kidneys fail, you'll need dialysis. Uh, neuropathic issues can lead you to developing wounds that are not healing. Uh, and ED, erectile dysfunction, uh, retinopathy, you can actually turn blind because of uh, cataract formation. Diabetes can cause hypertension because they are related. Generally, they just do joined at the hip because one, uh, glucose toxicity causes stiffening of the blood vessels raising your blood pressure. Number two, glucose toxicity can injure your kidneys, causing them to uh, cause as, a, as an effect uh, poor control of, of blood and electrolytes in the body. So it can also cause uh, hypertension. That is why even for patients who are hypertensive, we screen them for diabetes. You can prevent diabetes complications by following the guidance that is issued by your healthcare team. And by team, I mean not only doctors, the nutritionist, the podiatrist, uh, the educators, the counselors. You need to follow their guidance uh, because it's a patient-centered kind of care. So if you actually adhere to all that every of that person in the team is teaching you, then you'll be able to avoid most of these complications. Number two, proper follow-up. So proper follow-up because there are some complications that set in without symptoms that we might need to follow you up and measure to know actually if they are there or not. So you might actually be feeling okay and yet inside things are going wrong and we may not know unless you come to the clinic and we do our, C, our let me say, serial measurements that we need to do or, uh, during the year. Most of the time we'll want to see you at least four times in a year. So we'll be checking your HbA1c every three months. We'll be checking your kidneys, your cholesterol, um, depending on what we find, but we will create um, uh, 
maybe a program of how we will be able to monitor that for you. Checkup for diabetes depends uh, on the individual. But standard is three months, every three months. But if you are poorly controlled, we might require to see you more frequently than that. I hope you've learned something from this uh, video. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, being of help to your health. Uh, you can uh, access my services at Diabetes Care Center through ponea.com.